In this video, I am going to give you 13 affiliate marketing strategies for you to use in your business. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Alston and welcome to my channel where I help you find different ways to make money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you wanna learn different tips and tricks on how to make money online. All right, so in this video, I'm going to give you 13 affiliate marketing strategies that you can use and apply today to start making more money and scale your business. Tip number one is congruency. Now basically what congruency is, is having a consistent look and feel across all of your marketing material. So for example, if you look at my YouTube channel, I have a standard blue and black and also a little bit of white. Um, you'll also see that on my landing pages, you'll see that everywhere on my website, anywhere that has my name and my brand, it has a congruent look, feel and message. My message is helping you find success online. You'll see that everywhere that you see my name, Alston Godbolt. So number one, congruency. Number two, to actually make some money faster is you wanna do what's called niching down. Basically, niching down is taking a niche or a topic and digging a little bit deeper and going beneath the surface. For example, if I were to become an affiliate marketer for video games, instead of just be being a affiliate marketer for the entire video game industry, I would maybe niche down to Xbox or PlayStation. Again, I would actually take another step down and I would niche down to maybe exclusive Xbox or PlayStation video games. The only way for you to find success if you're just getting started as a beginner is to niche down. People fail, affiliate marketers fail because they don't recognize that they need to niche down. As a small fish in a giant pond, in order to find success, you're gonna have to niche down just a little bit. So that's number two, niche down. Now, number three is a revenue mix. And basically what I mean by revenue, revenue mix is have a, a bunch of different revenue streams so that you're not relying on one or two uh, streams of income. For example, a, a great revenue stream would be ads through YouTube, affiliate marketing, digital products, affiliate marketing, different products at different price points. Doing this will allow you to make consistent money over a long period of time. You don't wanna rely on a high ticket item or a low ticket item in the event something changes. Maybe the product changes, maybe your view or recommendation of the product changes. You wanna make sure that you have at least three or four different revenue streams or different types of revenue so that you can make consistent money online. And again, these are the 13 affiliate marketing strategies for you to use to get started with affiliate marketing today. Number four, you want to make sure that you are above and beyond helpful. You want to provide so much information, so much helpful information and content that your customer feels compelled to do whatever you're telling them to do. For example, if someone wants to know the best way to make money online, you want to not only give them the best way to make money online, you maybe want to give them five different opportunities and talk about some of the strengths and benefits of each one of those. And then at the very end, give your fifth and explain in great detail the strengths and weaknesses. Now, and then you want to give them a little bit more information and tell them, hey, look, if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the link in the description. Make sure that you are above and beyond helpful so that people will feel compelled to do what you're asking them to do. And that's number four. Number five is pick one main platform and one sub platform to start. Now, what I mean by main and sub, for me, I believe main platform includes YouTube, blog, um, podcast, those are different types of main platforms. A couple sub platforms are your social media platforms. So YouTube, or excuse me, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Pick one of those areas and become an expert in a main and a sub. So that way, if one fails or you're not getting the traction on your main, you can actually kind of spark that traction with your sub. For example, on this channel, if I wanted to, I could join different Make Money Online YouTube groups excuse me, make money online Facebook groups and send traffic to my YouTube channel based on these groups. So you wanna make sure that you have one main platform and one sub platform. All right, number six. This, in my opinion, is the most important strategy that people do not recognize and apply and that's why they're not successful. You wanna keep going until you're successful. You wanna keep putting in the work, keep uh, allocating time, energy, and effort until you get the level of success that you expect for yourself or for somebody else. All too often, you are quitting a little bit too early. If you just go an extra month, an extra two months, an extra six months, you could possibly get that level of success that you're looking for. You wanna set a goal for yourself. I'm going to keep going until I hit this mark. 
And then once you get it, you can actually make that decision if you wanna continue on with affiliate marketing or you wanna try something else. So very, very important. Make sure that you keep going until you're successful. All right, number seven. Make sure you put together a business plan. Now, a business plan is a guideline, a helpful plan of action for your roadmap to success. If you've never taken a business course, I recommend that you go online and download a business plan template. It'll talk to you about your target audience, what you're selling, what you're promoting, how you're going to reach your audience. Basically, it's a who, what, when, where, why, how for your business plan. Because affiliate marketing is a business, you need to address it like a business and have a business plan plan. So that's number seven, have a business plan. Number eight, and this is very critical, not a lot of people talk about it, is con create content answering the five W's. So the five W's, who, what, when, where, why, how. When, whenever you create content, sit down and ask yourself, who's your audience? What do they want to know? When do they want to know? Why is this important? If you can do that for each piece of content, you will reach your customer, you'll answer the question, you'll resolve their issue, and they'll more, be more likely to buy than someone that just comes out and says, click the product below. Make sure that you go all the way back to the basics, do a little bit of research and find out who, what, when, where, why, how, and you will have more success than someone that just goes out there and talks. And so that was number eight. Number nine, Test the product that you're promoting. This is critical. You can actually go on YouTube right now and find a number of people that are promoting products that they've never tested. You can tell that they talk around the subject. They can talk about the the maybe the landing page that they've gotten access to. They've read reviews. They've never actually tested the product. In order for you to be passionate about something, in order for you to be knowledgeable about a topic, go out and test it. It, you, watching a few YouTube videos on a product or service isn't good enough. Spend that money, invest that money, test the product. You can talk about the strengths and weaknesses, which will make you more credible and people will be more likely to buy. People can see if you're talking around a subject. Oh yeah, buy this battery because you know it charges things. Well, if I've actually tested this product, I can tell you that this battery holds a charge for exactly 12 hours. I tested other batteries, it was a lot shorter, and so on. You wanna make sure that you've actually tested the products that you're recommending so you seem more credible and you can answer actual questions. Number 10, learn and review analytics weekly. Now, analytics are, are basically numbers and pieces of data that will tell you how you're progressing in your business. Uh, analytics, for example, um, click-through rate, um, cost per click, there's just no views, there's just a number of pieces of analytics out there that will tell you what your strengths and weaknesses are. The reason why you wanna just uh, spend about, uh, the, the reason why you wanna look at this weekly instead of daily is because you'll get too caught up in the analytics. You'll be trying to, to change, just tweak little things instead of uh, actually focusing on creating content. You wanna create content, uh, review your analytics, and then go back, create more content based on, on what you've seen, based on your analytics. But make sure you learn and understand your analytics so you can review and see where your weaknesses are. You wanna know what your click-through rate is because that, that tells you how much, how much people are clicking on your links or clicking on your YouTube videos or YouTube video thumbnails. Learn analytics. Number 11, be yourself. Don't try and be like me. Don't try and be like the, the guy down the street because just like product reviews, people can see right through it. Approach each piece of content that you create from your story. You wanna talk about yourself, talk about your story, talk about how you got into affiliate marketing because you had twins and all of a sudden you needed to essentially double your income because in 18 years they're gonna to go to college and college is gonna quadruple quadruple by the time they're ready to go to school. Talk about how you had this great life and then after a year after having kids or a year and a half after having twins, you realize that you're going to have another kid. Okay, now you need to figure out how much more money you need to have. Uh, understand that being yourself and talking from your experience is more relatable than someone that just goes out and, and tries to emulate someone else. Now, the key is, is you want to see what's working and then put your spin on it. Don't try and be like me or like the person on the next video. Um, you want to be like yourself, but see what works. If you can combine those two successfully, you can be successful in affiliate marketing. Next is realize, and this is again, the 13 strategies for affiliate marketing. Realize that you're solving a problem. Again, this is very pivotal between successful and unsuccessful affiliate marketers. Unsuccessful affiliate marketers go out there and just spam their link. Click the link in the description and buy my product, and then they wonder why people aren't buying their product. 
if the best absolute best strategy that you can approach is go out and create as much helpful content as possible and then worry about affiliate links later if you're going out and you're helping somebody um don't even put affiliate links in until you've accurately helped somebody until until you have provided so much helpful content that they feel compelled to to do what they're what what you're asking them to do solve a problem first Worry about making money later. That is absolutely the best strategy that you could you could achieve or take advantage of as an affiliate marketer. Don't worry about affiliate links. Worry about solving the problem. And the uh, next one is put yourself in your customer's shoes. The best way to figure out what a customer needs is to actually experience that pain point. That's why you want to. That's why it helps if you test the product out. You can see what works and what doesn't work. Maybe bat this battery doesn't work for left-handed people, and you can speak to that. You can talk about some of the challenges that you faced before solving the pro problem. So let's say this battery is the the solution. You can talk about some of the problems that you ran into in in route to getting to the solution so you had um you had a, a a video game controller and you were having issues with the charge you went through 10 different types of batteries you tried a, a, a rechargeable battery that didn't work you had to cut your game session short until you found this battery <clears throat> put yourself in the customer's shoes and they'll be able to help provide helpful information, provide helpful content, solve their problem, and make more money. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click that first link in the description. If you click that first link in the description, you will be given a free guide to email marketing. If you know anything about me, I know and love email marketing, click that first link and you'll get that same guide. Uh, but click the first link in the description if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing today.